Welcome back. In this lecture, I'll talk about the differences between user and role. Let me open two putty sessions. This is a session one. For easy understanding, let me change the color coding. Before I explain differences between user and role, let me log into PSQL and show you the syntax of create user. This is the syntax of create user. In the second session, let me show you the syntax of create role. If you look at the syntax of create user and create role, they are absolutely same. They have the same options. They have exact same keywords. Everything is same. That means in Postgres database, a user and role can be used interchangeably. But the only difference is when I use create user syntax, the login privilege will be assigned by default. But whereas when I create a role, which is created by default with no login. There is a table pg underscore user. When you say select star from pg underscore user. There is only one user in pg underscore user table. The user is Postgres. Now if I select star from pg underscore roles, there are nine roles in pg underscore roles table. That means a role may or may not be a user. Now to show further the differences between user and role, let me go ahead and create a user. Create user user1 with password, password. Now if I say select star from pg underscore user, you would now see two rows. One for user1, another one of course for super user. Now, if you say pg underscore roles, of course, this user will be added to pg underscore roles table as well. Here you can see the number of rows increased from 9 rows to 10 rows. Let me see if the other way is possible. When I say other way, let me create a role, role1 with password password now when i say select star from pg underscore roles i'm expecting now 11 roles i see 11 rows now but now take a quick guess whether this role one will be added to pg underscore user table the answer is no because there is a subtle difference between user and role that difference is by default user comes with login privilege whereas roles have no login privilege by default of course i can give right i can say alter role role one login with login the role is altered now let me run the command let me press up arrow now if I run it, you would see role 1 as well. Now let me show you the login part. Now let me use psql hyphen u user1 hyphen d postgres hyphen capital W.
you see here I am able to connect to Postgres database as a user one so let me try to do the same thing with role now role has been given a login privilege you see here I am also able to connect as a role that's the confusing part if you want me to summarize so far when in doubt create user if somebody is asking you to give them a new user account in a Postgres SQL database go ahead and create a user just like you would do in any other relational database now let me connect using super user and let me create a role once without a create role role to with password password I don't want to give login privilege to this guy so let me see if this guy can connect without a login privilege you see the error here role 2 is not permitted to log that's it for this lecture